Hello guys and welcome back. So, we're towards the end of February now, heading into March, so I guess you could say spring starts. Um, or the start of spring. Not much has happened on the kit side of things. Um, obviously the latest thing we got was this front mower. Annoying thing about this, which is also another thing about lack of shared space, is me putting this here, because I didn't have anywhere to put it, uh, is in the way of the windrow. Because what you'd have to do is get a tractor, put this on the front, turn around, pull that out, and because the wheels on the back actually turn when the tractor wheels turn, because of the PTO, um, it's hard to sort of get it straight, otherwise you'll hit stuff or don't get it straight, then you've got really tight between the baler or the mower. Now the baler and the wind, uh, bale wrapper sort of tyres uh, sort of stay straight, they don't turn. Um, so I thought of a new plan. Instead of bringing a tractor all the way around into the shed, 6920S, back her up onto the mower, t uh, attach to the mower, take her over there, get a bucket full of silage, and then reverse it back and put back, which is a lot easier and quicker um, to do than move the stuff. Now the duck here, as you can see, she likes the silage there. Um, obviously I'm giving them a bucket a day, which leads last them about two or three days. But what I'm going to do is a new plan, because obviously it's going to rot by the time the cars are back in the field, which won't be long until we've had all the cars. Um, so what I'm going to do, two or three buckets in a day, um, all at once, like in the morning or afternoon, whatever. Um, and that should last them five, maybe six days, which is good because then um, I'm getting down the side quicker and they're getting more food for because obviously they're going to have to feed their calves and the calves are going to have to get their milk off the mums. So that's a sort of plan with that. Um, got the 5612 here, bucket load of silage, uh, fresh silage. Um, so I've decided that I thought I'd film this while I'm feeding the cows because I mean, why not? Um, gives me something to do in the sort of job to do. Um, so it's a lot easier, it's a bit lazy way of doing it without the keening. So you lift it up, put it down, go along the feeder barrier there, and it goes there. Now, that was a lot quicker than if I attached the keening. Um, so yeah, although it's sort of spring, uh, we haven't had any chicks or ducklings yet. Well, not that I've seen knocking around the yard, although they do tend to be around the yard. Um, they don't tend to come around the house a bit. Um, that'll probably be because I tend to feed them in the yard. Uh, I don't give them bowls. Uh, I sort of just get some seeds from the uh, shop and I just sort of throw it down in the yard. And then they sort of peck around and scratch for it, which is a lot easier than putting it in a bowl. Because it feels like they're finding something. Um, obviously the ducks won't scratch, they'll just sort of put their beak towards the ground. Um, but now I found chickens tend to like to eat off the ground over the years. I mean now I've had these ducks and chickens for a while. Um, and a couple of them are sort of ducklings and chicks. But yeah, so not much has really happened. One thing that sort of, I guess you could say, annoyed me that was I didn't have anywhere to spread the muck. So I asked around and then someone came and they collected the muck. I didn't actually get to film it and I don't know why I totally forgot. Um, but I was just sort of helping him. I was loading his up, his little trailer up. Um, so this is all the muck we've got. Because uh, I spread fertiliser on the field up there and there. So I've got no muck left. Uh, after the video I did actually film, I did actually uh, finish off the rest of the field because I didn't do all the field in that one video. So that's a bit of an annoying one. Um, but hopefully in the next couple sort of episodes, uh, sort of vlogs, whatever you want to call them, uh, obviously when we have cars there will be more muck and once they're out in the field I can muck them out. Um, I can always buy muck as well, which is a bit if I don't know anyone, you don't really want to be doing that. Um, but yeah, also, so because it's the end of February, uh, we tend to get, with the lambs and sometimes the cows, uh, or the calves, whatever, uh, tend to be start at the end of February, early March. Now, there's only three cows, um, and one calf has been born in the back there. The bulls sound with me, so it doesn't really mind me hopping in. Uh, 
Um, also, you've got to be careful because the mother might be a bit protective of her calf. But yeah, we got this little fella. Um, it is a boy. Um, I think it's a boy. Um, I will have to check afterwards. I'm just saying it's a boy. But hopefully it'll be a girl so we can keep her. Um, but I'm probably misgendering it. But uh, yeah, so he's got his ear tag there. Uh, so if he gets lost, everyone, whoever finds him, knows that he belongs to this farm. Same with the cat and the bull. If they ever go mess missing or escape. Um, and same with the sheep. Um, I mean, if we have lambs, I still have to tag them. Which I did tag that calf, which uh, the mother wasn't happy about with her calf screaming. But um, it was only for a couple of seconds. And also we got a couple of pallets of wool. I say a couple, a one pallet of wool and a bit of wool there. Um, and they've got their bale there. We do also have a lamb, which I'm yet to tag. Um, but he's walking around the field happy. Uh, I believe that's his mum there. I mean, he's sort of walking behind her. Um, well, well, one of them two is his mum. Um, if it was a black face, obviously he'd have a black face. Um, and then we've got the ram there. So he goes in November. Uh, so we have him for March time when it starts to get warmer, which is what I like to do with the lambs and cows. Now the bull has been in since about June, so the cows are two months old by the time uh, their dad uh, goes back in with them. Um, but the bull is normally sound and the rams sound with the lambs, he doesn't try to stamp on them or whatever. Um, but when they get to a certain age, they will start to got a bit more dominant and then they'll be fighting but it's sort of what you expect really um i am also before the summer would like to get some small pieces of kit one or two i don't know uh, whether that be attachments or like maybe a link box or a single bail lifter small things like that kind of size um i'm trying to think of anything that would be handy to use and wouldn't be sat in the yard after being used two or three times a year um, now this bush has grown, so I'll have to trim that, and that roller, I um, mean, kind of annoying because every time you're just driving on some grass it gets flattened, um, which isn't what I want, which I almost done a mistake there, as you can see here, the grass is slowly growing back, that was because I had to sort of roll this bit down because it was really long, um, I'd also like to upgrade these two, because they're getting a bit small, and we've got big, pretty big tractors, um, Maybe to a, a Vadastat, like I've said, um, I don't know, that should hopefully be before, it'd be after summer, because of when you plant, because um, obviously we have to harvest the wheat, so that'll be in a couple of months, um, so we've got a busy time, um, but I would like to film some harvesting, that would be nice to get a good shot of, uh, even if it's just at the end of it. Um, or I might have to sort of add a clip into a vlog of me harvesting, um, which would probably be easier than filming and talking while harvesting. Um, but yeah, so I will also be having to get farmers into spread slurry. Could also get paid to spread slurry for people if they needed or wanted. Um, but yeah, as you can see, sort of uh, full there. Um, but yeah. So, not much really happening, as always, I mean, this time of year, not much really does happen, obviously, car trailer, Marshall, green trailer, um, dump trailer will probably be moved, because, I don't know why, um, probably because it's just sort of abandoned there, and doesn't look the best abandoned, um, yeah, E340 is still parked up there, looking nice with her straight pipe tra exhaust, um, also, I would like to change it for a 7740, but, you know, it's hard to find a 7740 that's in good condition. Uh, also, I would like to get a side of trailer, which would be a Kane Classic and a John Deere Trailer Forager, whether the trailer goes behind or I help, I get someone to help me, um, which I'd probably have to put a shed, maybe up at that small yard up there, to keep it, well, like, the side trailer could stay outside. It's just a trail forager has blades and they need to stay nice for side so they don't break um, or don't fall off in the grass and then when the mower comes off or when it's picking up silage um, and then we get mixed up silage and then I feed it to the cows but yeah so 
that's a sort of plan for now. Hopefully in the next vlog we'll have a, a couple lambs, a couple more lambs, maybe some chicken ducklings and maybe a couple more cars. Well, I say couple, there's probably one more. Um, so yeah, that's it for this one. Bye for now.